our next guest is named Stephen Cox. This is interesting because when you were gone, yeah. uh, uh, Darren Hardy, the, uh, the publisher of Success Magazine, who was a fantastic co-host, by the way. Oh. Um, <laughs> no, he was good. No, good. And he, and, and he, uh, he, he said to me, look, I got this guy, this entrepreneur guy lives in San Diego. And, uh, and I, I came home that night and flipped on the TV, and the guy was on Channel 6. And here he is with TakeLessons.com. Stephen Cox. Stephen, how are you, brother? Great. How are you guys doing? Good, Good to talk to you. Awesome. Yeah. Good to see you. So you are a serial entrepreneur, they say, right? That's all I know. Startups. Boy, in this economy, <laughs> I, I, talk, I talk about the fact that in this economy, um, because of the jobless rate, people had to reinvent themselves either, yeah. either by starting new businesses or, or by re-educating re themselves more than any other time in history. So what a better time, if you're going to reinvent yourself and after you go into business, to, to, to kind of maybe uh, think outside the box a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. That's what we're seeing. You know, a lot of people, mm. when they first start, and, and we interview a ton of people in our company, and they go, oh, well, we're just not sure. Is it risky to join a startup or start our own venture? But if you take a look around today, everything's going to hell, right? It's yeah. like all of the big companies oh, yeah. are sitting here, and it's like, oh, geez, we, can't, uh, we have to lay off people here and lay off people there. Sure. And mm -hmm. I think the best protection you can have is developing your own self. Sure. And starting your own business or getting involved in a startup, it's just as, uh, it's just as safe as a, a large company. Tell us about, well, uh, and I, I you've got more power. Well, and right. I say, I yeah, say yeah, this yeah. all the time, though. You, you look at the stocks for National University, you look at the stocks for University of Phoenix, those stocks are going through the roof because people are reinventing themselves. Right. But then, but, but then the, the numbers also show that there's no more entrepreneurial activity right now than there ever has been in history. And right. I believe that's because people have to. Tell us about what you guys do over there. Um, so what we do is the name of our company is Take Lessons. Take and Lessons. We've, yeah, so we've created a marketplace. Basically, there's a $3 billion industry out there. And in essence, you have a ton of musicians out there. And I don't know if you've heard, but sometimes uh, artists are not necessarily the best at business. And sure. so what we've done is we've... Yeah. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah. So what we've done is we've developed out a marketplace where our artists can make a living doing what something that they love to do. That's unbelievable. Yeah. And so instead of uh, having to collect money and try to market themselves online, which a lot of uh, folks don't understand how to do, we do all of that for them. And in essence, they can come to our site if they qualify as one of our certified instructors. And now we have instructors in about 3,000 cities all across the U.S. Wow. They can make them money doing what they love to do instead of working at Chili's or working retail right. or something like that. Or so both. It's awesome. Or both. Yeah, yeah pay the yeah. bills. Yeah, that's where the whole idea came from, wow. was to keep my drummer... Uh, Keep my drummer out of Chili's. So, so it's keep my drummer yeah. out of Chili's. dot com was taken, like a, so you couldn't it's like have a that political language. statement. Keep my drummer out of Chili's. Out of Chili's. Yeah. And keep the saxophone player out of the bar. You know what they call a room full of drummers? Uh, what? Prison. Thank hey, you. everybody. Thank you. Uh, uh, so talk. So, so this is an interesting concept because what you have done, and I hate to, I, 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 and I'm not comparing you because what you what you have is so unique. But it's almost like a Craigslist meets Angie's List for, for, for the local music guy. Yeah, if right? you really look at it, we take a look at it and say Craigslist was what we call Services 1.0 mm. on the web. Yeah. And we have a general theory that there's coming a Services 2.0 on the web. And what you have, Google has created this opportunity where you can find literally anything you want, millions of right. results all over the place. The issue with that is that there's now millions of results to search for. Sure. And so what we believe is that there will be big, big brands that get established that basically do for services – what Amazon has done for product and okay. basically said, sure. oh, here's sure. the safe Because remember, Amazon buy. was books when it first started. Exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah. Let yeah. me ask you this. Couldn't you, couldn't you move this into other uh, ancillary services? And I'm not talking about like, like handyman services like Angie's right. List, but I mean, there's so many underserved. Boy, one thing you just don't think about is music teachers until you exactly. try to find one. Yeah. Right. And it's the $3 billion industry. 54% of all households across America do it. Yet it's very, very difficult to find mm -hmm. someone. Yeah. How do you know what to look for? I mean, like, it, it, would, it would be the same. It would be in the same category. It would be in the same category as, as the pet business. You know, the, the, the humanization of pet business is turning into a $14 billion industry, and right. it's underserved. You can't, you can't, I mean, in New York City, you can find somebody to walk your dog. In San Diego, California, if you're going on vacation for a week, Try it. No you way. can't right, do right. it. So there's a ton. Stephen Cox, uh, uh, part of our entrepreneurial series here on the Big Biz Show, we kind of show you uh, other businesses out there you may not have thought of. And, and it's uh, I love entrepreneurial activity. I love it, especially when a guy uh, comes up with something. When we come back from the break, we're going to hear about how he actually came up with the idea, which I think you'll think is a, gonna find a uh, interesting story. Stephen Cox, take her. lessons. Takelessons.com. I think I want to be a music teacher now. You have to learn how to play, Russ. Well, you know, you got to start somewhere, bud. Rusty Nail, Sully, Big Biz Show, BigBizShow.com, CBS, ABC, Armed Forces, Biz Television. Our website, BigBizShow.com. Follow me on Twitter at BigBizRadio. Don't go anywhere. All right. Back to our guest. Yes. 
His name is Stephen Cox. He's the founder and CEO of TakeLessons.com. Great idea. If, if you're just joining us, it is it is a it is a clearinghouse of of uh, music teachers. Um, a lot of times when you, you hook up with a music teacher, or not hook up, but you know, <laughs> who knows? But if I had a if I had a nickel. <laughs> Hey, I want to learn how to play a flute. All right, <laughs> come on over. No, so, um, but you hook up with the wrong type of personality because everyone learns on a different. Right. Some guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, he, how, how did, what was nice the what were the there. metrics involved when you were doing when you put that together when, when you decided who we're going to take, who you're not going to take, and and that right. type of thing? Well, we've been in business for about five years, and so it really took us a couple years to really decipher down what makes a great music instructor. And for most of our people, most of our customers, they're beginners. Yeah. You know? What they have is they have a, a general fear. It's like, is people going to make fun of me? Do yeah. I suck? What yeah. is, what's the deal? Yes, yes, yes and yes. Yeah. Okay, let's get, that. <laughs> let's get past that. And so the whole idea is there are a ton of great musicians out there. Sure. And they all play and they, you know. They're, they're all passionate about it. It's unbelievable. Sure. But what we really look for is not only can they play, but can they make that beginning student, which is most of our customers, yeah. feel sure. awesome about music. Yeah. Right. You know, because so many people, they try, and if they don't get that positive reinforcement back to <laughs> social proof <laughs> immediately, oh, yeah. they're some old school they're done. Uh, yeah, some yeah. old music teachers are like, no! <clears throat> oh, man, exactly. sorry. Yeah, it's scary. scary them, like a, the yeah. wrist uh, knuckler right, busters. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Get oh, rid yeah. Of those guys. Yeah. Hmm. So the uh, let me ask you this. So, so how did you start? This this came out of uh, necessity, out of uh, out of a, a fellow musician that needed some help. So you did that. Tell, bring me to the next step. Sure. So I had uh, done startups, and I was kind of taking a little time off. We had uh, finished a startup, and I was down here in San Diego playing in a band. My whole family's very musical, mm -hmm. and I'm kind of the least musically oriented out <laughs> of them. So I was, uh, I was a lead singer in a rock band, and my drummer, he was an incredible, incredible musician. He had a master's degree in music performance. Wow. wow. I just uh, tried to buy a house in Encinitas, which is basically impossible on a musician's budget. Yeah. Just found out that his uh, wife was pregnant with their first kid. And, and then said, reality hit him right, yeah, right between yeah, the right. eyes. It's like, dude, I got to quit the Band. I'm like, wait a second, you can't quit the band if that means I'm not going to get dates yeah. if you quit the band. Yeah, right. Because you're the only one good in the band. Yeah. And oh. so I started talking to him. He's oh. like, yeah, well, you know, I'm not making a living doing this. I'm going to have to take a job at that chili. Yeah, so, right. Uh -oh. And I said, well, we can't have this. And so I said, are you recording? Are you, uh, what, you know, what's going on? And he said, yeah, I'm trying all that stuff. And I said, are you teaching? He said, yeah, I've got my poster hanging up at the CVS drugstore. Yeah. I can't find enough students. And well. me, I come from an internet background. I said, well, why don't you just use the internet? And oh, he yeah. Said, Bing. Who? Yeah. He's like, oh, I don't know how to do any of that stuff. Right. And I said, well, okay, well, I'll help you do that. And right. we really started designing the whole methodology for how do you go about finding a really awesome instructor down on a hyper local level, the localized level to the zip code. Yeah, yeah. And that's really oh, like so, so, so if you live in New York City versus versus one of the boroughs, you can find somebody in New York City. Or if you live in Opelika, yeah. Alabama, you can find somebody in Opelika, Alabama. Right. Or in San Diego, if you you know the, you probably know, a lot of times parts in walking distance sometimes. Yeah, you like know? in San Diego, we try to find uh, someone within about four miles. In I've got two teenage girls that took lessons. Um, I come from a music background. And one of our biggest things is 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 was safety for those kids. It, right. it, how, how did you guys how did you guys tackle that part of it? So we have a seven step hiring process that we walk every single instructor through. Nice. Like last month we had about eleven hundred instructors apply to work with us. Wow. We ended up uh, recruiting about 80 of those. So we're very, very specific. Not only do they have to have the right... Well, Russ, looks like you better stay in the air for a yeah. while. Uh, okay, well, thanks for being our guest. we got to go now. Anyway, <laughs> try us again uh, next year. Yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> but we're very, very peculiar about who we take in. Sure. And they have to pass not only all of the, the, oh, good. the criterias, but we also do background checks, sure. criminal background checks. Oh, wow. It's a big, big deal when you're so inviting yeah. a Craigslist type of a, of a It's of Craigslist 2.0. It's but, yeah, I mean, you do uh, some clearing before yeah. they... How did you get... Yeah. So if you look at the website, ladies and gentlemen, takelessons.com, you didn't do this in your back. Here. This took some money to do. Was this out of your own pocket? How did, how did you guys get started? When we first got started, I funded uh, the company. Family so and friends, did, credit card? Uh, yeah, so it was just basically off uh, you know another venture we had done. Sure. So I funded yeah. um, funded the, the company, and then we had some friends and family did a couple uh, rounds of angel investors uh, here with local tech investors. We had raised a total of about $1.7 million uh, that round. Wow. Uh, last year, we signed a big buy, uh, deal with Best Buy, where we're now teaching inside of Best Buy stores across the nation. You may have not even known that they've done that, but this wow. is something that they started to no. do. And with that, we had the really the the ability to expand the business. Sure. And so we took our huh. first round of uh, 
uh, institutional capital last year in May. It was a company called Crosslink Capital. They led the round, did $6 million. Um, this is the same guys who did uh, Pandora. Sure. And then backup investors did you know Facebook, Twitter, oh, wow, all yeah. the big heavyweights in the internet space. So what's yeah. the next step for you? Do you go public with this thing? I mean, what's the path of liquidity for you? Do you sell it to a Craigslist type thing? I mean, I think, I think when people think about these things, well, that guy's got a cool little business, but the investors didn't get involved to hang yeah. with you for the next 20 years. Right. And th that's true. You know, they're always looking for what's the return. The exit strategy, yeah. And mm -hmm. for us, we have very, very patient investors. And oh, good. So that will allow us to really build out uh, where we are, first in this vertical, as you'd mentioned. Sure. Something that we'd look to do. Right. You take ex extract out music teacher and put in dog walking, dog walking yeah. to tutoring, tutoring to babysitting, voiceover, to yeah. name, radio voice announcer. So we've built a platform in order nice. to do that. We're very, very focused on music. That's where we want to good be at stuff, this point. Man. But we're planning for the future just in hmm. case. Well, good for you, yeah. brother. I really appreciate it. The, the, uh, this, and this is the type of things that our listeners and our viewers need to hear, is that even in this economy, you got a good idea. Uh, good ideas and talent will get you a long way, right? That's Stephen right. Cox, ladies and gentlemen, take lessons, takelessons.com. Thank you, man. I hope you, you took lessons on that interview, everybody. Yeah. Go visit the website. All right.